Having a good neighbor tends to make life a little easier, but it's not typically the difference between life and death. For one Aussian family, it was. News Channel 15 Sarah Wagner has their story tonight from Studio 15. Looking at two-year-old Maddox France today, you never know the challenges he's already faced in his short life. Being born with end-stage kidney failure put the now toddler on dialysis when he was just 12 days old and made a transplant a necessity. Thanks to the gift of a neighbor, Maddox received a new kidney and with it, a second chance at life. A packed parking lot. And party seems appropriate for a milestone such as this. First year transplant anniversary. It's a celebration the France family could have only dreamed of just a couple of years ago when their only child was born with end stage kidney failure. Mom and dad weren't eligible donors. It was devastating when we found out we couldn't. I'm not the right blood type, and Brian is too tall. Doctors needed an adult donor because kidneys won't grow once they're severed from the original body and transplanted. That's when 24 year old Jake Dillon came into the picture. You can share some, might as well do it. He grew up next to Maddox's dad. When his family saw the Francis Caring Bridge site, Jake decided donating his kidney was the right thing to do. He never met Maddox, but calls the decision a simple one. I had a spare one, might, not, might as well give it away. <laughs> He turned out to be a perfect match. After the surgery, the surgeon came down and told us that it fit perfectly. He's never seen anything like it. Where's your kidney? Right there. So when he, um, all right, right there's your kidney. This weekend celebration is for more than just bubbles and bounce houses. The chance of Maddox's body rejecting the kidney goes down dramatically a year after transplant. Now, despite a 22-year age difference, Jake says he and Maddox are a lot alike. And he has an idea where Maddox gets all of that energy from. That's, that's my kidney. <laughs> Maddox still takes medicine twice a day, but his parents say he's down to three, compared to many more when he was on dialysis. He's grown seven inches since his transplant a year ago, and he's gone through five shoe sizes, and so we're constantly buying new shoes for him, watching him grow. He just got a big boy bed. Appropriate purchases for this now very spunky and spirited toddler. He is a typical two year old all over everywhere. <laughs> a reality made possible by a neighbor's generosity. It was a gift of life to our son that we were able to do. It's likely Maddox will need another kidney transplant at some point in his life. The average living donor kidney lasts about 17 years, but there's a chance Maddox could keep his longer than that. In Studio 15, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.